Hey, what is going on, guys? Hex Competitive back again today with another. Well, I don't know how to label this video unboxing video, whatever. It's not really unboxing, but it's good enough. So I had another another uh, manga splurge, guys, and I snuck my Pepsi over, and we're gonna hop right into it and show you guys what I got. We actually have a big. We have two big books, a little big series that you guys are very familiar with, and which may or may not be in the title below. So. Starting with this series, no, just kidding, that's, that's the receipt. Starting with Fairy Tale, I got the second uh, volume to that. Um, so there's the covering. Uh, you got Happy Natsu right there in the back and Lucy up in the front. So the first uh, volume was what? Episodes like one, one through three for anime only. Um, this one will be like Dirk Everlu. It'll hop into Eisenwald. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think it'll just be the yeah. I'll be the you know I'll cover all of the Dirk Eberlin arc or whatever it is. I can't remember. Uh, cat the Cabby arc. It'll cover all of that, and it'll cover all of the Eisenwald arc. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it'll be really close. I'm not sure exactly because Eisenwald arc lasts like two episodes or so. But now this series is the most important series. Oh, this is the because this is huge. I've spoken about progressive before. And now you guys are like, what are you talking about, progressive? SAO progressive, aka Sword Art Online progressive. As you guys will see, we got Asuna and Kito on this front cover. And see that it says Sword Art Online progressive. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be wondering what Sword Art Online progressive is. And I'm going to read the summary just after this. So basically, Sword Art Online progressive isn't a reboot they don't say it's a reboot they say it's a retelling that's what Ricky Kawahara likes to consider it and this takes place a few years after uh he even wrote Sword Art Online but it's but it's the same arc so Sword Art Online the very first arc whenever they get trapped in a game this is the same exact arc it it goes back in time and it retells the story this is technically considered canon so if you guys don't know what canon is which I'm sure most of you guys do you've been watching anime for long enough but maybe some of you guys don't Canon means it's the rich, it's 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 the main storyline. Like it's not second to any other like side story or anything like that. This is the main storyline. You can either consider what the first light novel was, but I got this in manga form because well pictures and shit. Let's go, you know. But I got this in manga form, so so it's canon. It means it's just as good and it's just as original and it's the same thing. Yeah, it's it's the same thing as the first art, guys. But let's hop right into this. And the summary on the back end says, Yuki Asuna was a top student who spent her day studying at cram school and pre uh, preparing for the her high school entrance exams, which we, we find out about the high school entrance exams whenever they get back from SAO. Now, it also goes on to say, but that was before she borrowed her brother's virtual reality game system and wound up trapped in Sword Art Online with tens and thousands of other frightening players. As time passes, Asuna fears what will, be, what will become of her life outside in the fantasy realm. The failure she might be seen as in the eyes of her peers and parents unwillingly to wait on the sidelines for more experienced gamers to beat the game. Asuna employs her study habits to learn the mechanics of the game and sword play. Her swiftness impresses Kirito, a professional gamer who invites Asuna to join the best players on the front line. Asuna, uh, wait. This is a misprint. Is awesome. Okay, it's also awesome ready to swap class rankings for player rankings and join Kirito. So you see right there, it's um, it's it's different. Right there, Kirito uh, asked Austin to join. So that's huge in its own right. Kirito asked Austin to join. Now, that's that's something I wasn't. I didn't even know. I did. I didn't know until I just read this honestly, and. We're going to go through another book so you guys don't go anywhere yet. Now, <laughs> this is a lot of money. It's just 13 bucks. I I did not expect it to be 13 bucks. It's more than a fairy tale. But, uh, a back. Okay, so as we all know, Sword Online is actually a light novel. And it's not a manga. So, the creator, Ricky Calhart, actually doesn't draw the art. Uh, art, excuse me. Uh, Kiseki Himura is the... Well, not actually, Abek is a character designer, and the art is done by Kiseki Himura, as you will see right here. Excuse me. Focus. There we go. Yeah, you guys see that? And let's, let's see some of the art in here so you guys can see this. I can't even see if you guys can see that. All right, there we go. Yeah, here's some. There's, you guys saw Eagle. I think, at least I think you did. So you, you see right then and there, there's some of uh, the old storyline in there. Like we see the old storyline, but 
they add in, they fill in the time skips, guys. They fill in the time skips. Now, here's the second one. Here's the cover. So that's cool. Um, the summary is, no, the summary, this is volume two, by the way. So it's the next one. Obviously, I wouldn't skip a volume. Now, next one. The party is shaken when their leader, uh, Dive, uh, Dival Davil is struck down by the boss of the first floor. Asuna and her teammates are confronted for the first time with the cruel reality of their situation. Sword Art Online is no mere game. Death here is final. Their comrade, oh wait, no. Their commander lost the remaining fighters, begin to lose heart and plan their retreat. But the fight must go on and they are to escape, if they are to escape this game world. And in the dying moments, Diavol managed to convey his appointment for the next commander, Kirito. Kirito! Now, the thing about that is, uh, we actually know that Kiji took kind of loses his way, but yeah, read this, guys. Check it out. I will be doing a video about would, would, Sword, would Sword Online Season 1 be better if they followed SEO Progressive's uh, story. I mean, retail. Was, is SEO Progressive better than Sword Online Season 1? That's probably what, what I will say. And once again, it's the same. Story, same exact story, but it fills in the time skips and Kirito and Austin. The biggest thing is Kirito and Austin. I'll probably make it. I'll probably make a separate video on this. Honestly, maybe I'll put it out today just so we can really go into a little bit deeper. I'll, I'll reiterate some of the things I said, but just go into a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna stop the video there, guys. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Twitter at hex25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.